December of last year, I was hospitalized here at Phelps Health with uh, a pulmonary embolism and blood clots in my legs. Um, I had a severe case of COVID and it also led into a severe case of pneumonia. Everything kind of happened at once. I was hospitalized here for three days. By the third day I was here, I was intubated on one form of life support. Uh, I was flown out for St. Louis University, what was it, December 12th, I believe. And I spent roughly four months in the hospital on ECMO, uh, or started ECMO. When I got to St. Louis, I was on ECMO for probably, well, it was 135 days exactly. I wasn't awake for the main portion of the illness because I was put into a, a medically induced coma to relieve pain and because my body was fighting too hard while I was awake. I wasn't aware of mo a whole lot of what was going on early on. I was pretty uh, just out of it. Between the medication and the illness, I just was not aware. I would wake up randomly in certain areas, not knowing where I was, scared, but for the majority of it I was I was asleep. Until what? Maybe February, March. I woke up and I started feeling a little better. Started some therapy, trying to get up. Stand up was a challenge. It was just to get up out of bed was a challenge. Um, when I went to sleep, I, I could still move, but I couldn't move when I woke up. That was a, that was a shock. And, and, and I was told that my lungs hadn't really recovered that well. I was still on a ventilator, and just because I was awake doesn't mean I was gonna make it. I mean, I was still unstable. I wasn't doing well. Came down to uh, a conclusion that I was probably going to need a lung transplant at SLU, but they don't have the ability to do that there. So we put out uh, oh, their transplant coordinator there at the hospital was putting out referrals to areas, you know, different hospitals in the areas, and I was, for whatever reason, the reasons were I wasn't getting in anywhere, except for maybe Chicago. And by some luck, they said, hey, we'll have a bed here in a couple weeks. We'll wait. Just bide your time. This is going to be your way out. So we had to bear down and, and realize that we we're going to be having to, to move to Chicago and, and, you know, be away from our family and our friends. But this is what was going to have to happen for me to get out of the hospital. Barnes. Jewish hospital called about three weeks after and uh, they let us know that they were considering me for transplant and Chicago called at 2 a.m. in the morning and said there was a bed open for me by 5 a.m. that night that same morning they recanted the offer and said that we didn't have one <clears throat> Barnes then contacted and said that they were waiting for one more doctor to make the decision to move me there so we could go on with the, the lung transplant. Then I got accepted. I moved within that week. Two days later, um, went to their ICU. We had a lot of goals. Still doing therapy. I had to meet a certain physical fitness requirement, being able to work, work or walk a certain amount of feet before I could even be considered and I had an infection that wasn't going to allow me to have it until the infection cleared up. So here we are, we're at Barnes, me and my wife waiting to see what's gonna happen. Two days after I get to Barnes, I have an anaphylactic reaction to one of the uh, antibiotics that they had given me for the infection. I went into anaphylactic shock and I coded. Heart stopped, airway closed. 
I'm not sure how long I was out of it, but that was two days after. You know, I got to the hospital and I woke up and I was okay, but that set me back a little further and <clears throat> things just kind of, I, I, I could still get up and move, so I, I kept working and I worked harder and I worked harder and I just, I didn't want to quit. So I didn't know what was coming down the pipe. I figured I was going to have to get the transplant, but then things improved. I ended up getting off of ECMO and uh, eventually ended up in the pulmonary rehab floor and here I am. Between here and the the equipment here and just being able to have the camaraderie of people around me too. It's nice to work with other people here. Nurses are great. But yeah, I've definitely had a lot of improvements since I got out of the hospital, but I don't think it's stopping here. I don't think I'm done getting better, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I've definitely improved. <clears throat> the things I went through, a lot of people have gone through, but on the other side either didn't make it or didn't make it out without transplant. So, not saying I'm the only person, but there's not many. So, conclusions on what's going to happen are few and far between. It's more than just the physical therapy. They, they're kind of like your therapist sometimes when you're feeling kind of grumpy and or uh, you know they ask you about how your week went. They, they care more than just getting you out of here. You know they they care about how you're feeling physically but emotionally too. I'm gone from ten minutes, barely ten minutes of uh, physical activity that I could tolerate when I got here to last time I checked I was over well. I'm over an hour now. I think probably an hour and two minutes or something like that, if I remember right. I did the math, I'll have to ask them again, but it's made an improvement, for sure. Um, I walk the treadmill for 30 minutes every every day. I'm here every day at home when I can. Um, the new step, the elliptical, I lift weights. And I, uh, I used to ride the bike, but I like the elliptical better, so I don't get on it anymore. But uh, basically everything. Everything they they have here, yeah, an arm, arm crank. So there's a there's a lot in there, and I do all of it. I just think if you have the ability to get up, even if it is just a couple feet, to 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 walk, to just put the effort towards it because it's some it's a marathon. If there's anybody listening that has this issue, it's just a marathon. It's not a it's not a sprint. You're gonna have to get up, even if it is just a couple feet. Even if it is just a couple pounds, do it, you know, every day.